Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the injector module for the Tekken Spark. Injectors give you valuable dispensing capabilities in up to 384 well plates, ideal for high sensitivity applications such as flash luminescence. The injector module consists of one or two syringes that are available in different volumes. It can be equipped with additional heating or stirring options. Before connecting the injector module, make sure your instrument is switched off. Put the module onto your device and connect it with the cable provided. Never connect or disconnect the module while the instrument is on. Open the lightproof cover. Please do not touch the injector needles to prevent any damage. Priming is necessary to fill the system with liquid before a measurement and to remove air bubbles from the tubes. Rinsing is needed to clean the system after each use. The injector carrier needs to be in the service position before priming, rinsing or optimizing the injection speed. Remove the injector carrier if it is still in the instrument and put it into the holder on the left-hand side of the module. Insert a suitable container beneath the injector. Insert the tubes into the carbon needle. Fill the storage bottles with the required reagents and put them into the holder. Make sure to provide a sufficient volume. The carbon needle ensures that the tube reaches the bottom of the flask for optimal aspiration. In the Spark control software, you can find the injector options under Instrument, then Injector. Select the injector you want to adjust the priming parameters for and adjust the priming volume depending on your tube length. Two different tube lengths are available. The speed and refill speed are dependent on the individual liquid viscosity. The higher the viscosity, the lower the speed should be. Save your settings for future priming actions. Click Start. You can also use the hardware buttons for priming. Remove the dummy if you haven't already and insert the injector carrier into the injector port. Press the carrier gently into the port to lock it in place. The instrument is equipped with a sensor that displays an error message when the injector carrier is not in the correct working position. First, select the plate area of your measurement. To perform an injection step, drag and drop the injector strip into the work pane. The injector can be used in two distinct modes. The injector strip only will inject the entire plate in a plate-wise fashion and then perform any preceding steps, such as a measurement. When used in combination with the well strip, injection can be used to inject a single well, followed directly by a measurement action. This can be used for fast kinetic applications like flash luminescence. Depending on the configuration of your injector module, you can select injector A or B. The volume can be defined depending on your requirements. Please remember that the speed and refill speed are dependent on the viscosity of your liquid. You can optimize speed settings in the service position to find the correct parameters. You can choose either a standard refill mode or to refill before every injection. When choosing standard mode, the syringe will be refilled before the liquid is fully depleted. During the measurement, the injector module will inject the liquid as defined in your method. After the measurement, bring the injector carrier into the service position again. Use the back flush function to save valuable reagents. To rinse the system after use, put the tube in a convenient rinsing solution to flush the system. You can adjust the rinsing parameters under Instrument, then Injector. Instead of volume, you adjust strokes, with each stroke corresponding to one filling of the syringe. You can save your priming and rinsing parameters for future use.
Again, the hardware buttons can be used for rinsing. Insert the dummy and close the cover when the instrument is not in use. Prevent clogging of the syringes and cross-contamination by cleaning your injector module regularly. Visually inspect the syringes and tubes for leaks and thoroughly flush the whole system with distilled or deionized water after each use and when the syringe is not in use. Once a month, check the valve connections and tighten them if necessary. Do not allow the syringes to run dry for more than a few cycles. The injector system must be cleaned weekly with ethanol to remove precipitates such as salts and eliminate bacterial growth. Thoroughly flush the system with buffer or distilled water before rinsing with ethanol. Rinse the fully lowered syringes with ethanol. Pump all the fluid from the syringe and tube into a waste container. Rinse the injector system with ethanol followed by distilled or deionized water. Leave the fluid pathway filled for storage. Carefully clean the end of the injector needles with a cotton swab soaked in ethanol or isopropanol. You can find a reagent compatibility list in the Instructions for Use. Please check the list thoroughly to know which reagents must not be used with the injector system to prevent any damage. During yearly preventative maintenance, your tech and service engineer renews tubing, valves and syringes. If you need any further help, please find detailed instructions in the manual or on the USB drive. And please do not hesitate to reach out to our help desk experts.